Hello, welcome back to Quickshot 14's vlog. We'll be continuing our Shaman special. Continuing on from 10 to 20, the last five levels in these next three parts. So, we're continuing questing here in Darkshore, right where we left off, uh, continuing doing some quests. Now, I found this rare elite here, as uh, you can see in Amarnarn, and uh, that was that was actually quite a surprise for me. <laughs> uh, rare elites do happen. They're there, and uh, she actually had a really nice cape, and uh, you see me put that on here. So we're continuing doing our shamans as we're going up, and every even level, you know, 12, 14, 16, so on, I am, of course, heading back to Exodar, the Exodar, uh, to, of course, train up, and uh, you really should do that, especially these first uh, 10 levels. It's easy to uh, ignore it. But it's you really don't want to. It'll just honestly, it, it takes a little extra time, yes, but the time will actually uh, help you out, and uh, you'll you'll spend a lot less time uh, probably running back from the graveyard. So I always suggest that you do that. Um, my shaman did really really well here in Darkshore. I died maybe only two, three times total and maybe four and I know at least one or two of those was because of lag uh, the others were just well they just happen um, so that wasn't too bad and that, that's pretty darn good uh, my shaman has been as I've said before an interesting uh, playthrough it's uh, been fun getting used to the totems and as I said you're gonna see me using them a lot more here and I usually reserve them for more than one fighting. Uh, when I get more than one mob on me is when I'll actually start using them. And uh, usually I will put down a uh, my stone skin totem, which is my earth totem, and then I'll put down a uh, fire nova or a uh, fire uh, spitter or whatever it's called totem down as well to help with the mobs. It's a good idea that you, before you put your uh, totems down, you make sure you uh, have aggro against the mobs, both of them, so make sure you hit both of them uh, before you put the totems down, just to make sure that they don't turn around and destroy the totem, unless that's what you want them to do. <laughs> there is some totems that will do that, and uh, so it's, it's important to remember that. You can definitely use your totems while you're just trying to run away. Uh, Earthbind Totem is probably one of my favorites to use when I'm trying to run away or just get past something and then I've got these mobs on me I'll just drop plop that down while I'm running and uh, they'll get all nice and slowed down and I'll be long gone another one to use is the uh, taunting totem or, or it's not really called taunting totem but it's like a taunt totem and uh, you can of course put that down as well and uh, it makes them attack the totem and it has a little more health and more to most totem totems do and everything so that's that's a good way to uh, do a little crowd control, if you will, while uh, running through stuff. Um, for this last fishing quest here that you're seeing me get right now, I highly suggest that you don't even grab the thing until you're a certain fishing level, and I believe it's around you know, around 40ish is what I would suggest. And the reason I say that is because it just makes it easier to pick these up. You're going to be 50 by the time you get the second half of his fishing quest because you can't get it until like at least 20 fishing skill and if you do this you'll spend a lot less time trying to fish these items up and it'll just be so much easier so resist the temptation to get it at 20 fishing level spend a little extra time get it up to 40 then you can fish up his items and just fish a little extra and you'll be at 50 to do his uh, second half which is up at the river uh, that we'll be up to here a bit later and that'll make that so much easier um, so, leveling up in Darkshore uh, is tedious, just like leveling up is, period. Um, I find it a little more comfortable uh, than other places, at least with the quests and also the rewards and the XP from the quest, I think is a lot better than most other places of the same zone level. So that's why I use Darkshore as my uh, level up stage here more than anything. Uh, like I said before, I could probably do these in my sleep. <laughs> I've been through them so many times. And it does get boring. It really does. But it goes a lot faster when you uh, 
you know you can do it. You know, if I'm level 17 like I was at one point when I stopped my shaman and I knew I was close at just three more levels, I knew I could have that done probably in just an hour or two uh, because I just know Darkshore so well. And lo and behold, it took about a couple hours uh, for lag and real life issues. So, it w and it was done. So, it does come in handy. Uh, just the familiarity of quests will make it easier for you to get through. So pick pick an area that you like to uh, quest through by all means. Or if if you'd rather, you can go the route that uh, some people go, and that's just go to every single starting area and do get as just get as much quests and experience and everything as possible, uh, which is a plausible thing if you have the patience for it uh, and the time, obviously, because it will take extra time. So. Uh, with the shaman, doing something like that would not be a big deal, actually. Uh, we are very spoiled by uh, by our mounts, of course, and of course we don't get them till level 30. The wonderful thing is, is when your shaman will reach level 20, you're going to get your spirit wolf form, which uh, or your ghost wolf form, and uh, which is basically like a travel form. You'll have a 40% increase on your speed, so it'll at least make that last 10 level gap a lot easier on you, because uh, we're just so spoiled. <laughs> But as for the shaman itself, uh, in enhancement, uh, there is some interesting interesting abilities available, and I really really suggest that uh, anyone who's very curious exactly what uh, talents they're looking at, either you know, if they're starting up their their sh their shami or whatever, get to level ten, check it out. If if you don't want to get to level ten or check it out yet, you, of course you can just go to the talent calculator on the WoW website or WoWhead or anywhere else and look at the shaman abilities, read over them take the time to look at them in depth and uh, you'll see the different abilities that there is. Uh, there's a lot of neat abilities. Uh, I'm going, of course, enhancement and I've already put some points into Restro uh, to uh, work on that. I don't think I'll put anything in, uh, in Elemental. I haven't decided yet. And, of course, I said I'm going enhancement right now and I could easily change. Uh, we'll have to wait and see as I uh, play my uh, Shaman some more. Uh, l at later stages, because uh, honestly, I don't expect to play too many of my alts unless I'm uh, bored <laughs> of my main, or I want to break from my main, and I just want to play so I don't have to blog it, <laughs> and or until my main is level 80 itself. And uh, of course, once my main hits level 80, it'll open up uh, all my alts to more leveling and more playing than anything. So, and. Uh, Having a Shami will, will be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of fun with it so far. It is a delicate, delicate balance. Uh, getting used to having a Restro tree and not being Restro. I guess I've been spoiled by uh, having my Druid Restro tree. And it's not hard to see why. Uh, having a Druid Restro is pretty freaking awesome, as anyone would know. Uh, who's played it? So, not having that kind of healing power you're used to, or that mana reduction that you're used to, that comes with having a Restro Tree and talents in it, can can be a little a little daunting at first, especially when you're so trained with it. So I think that's why I'm putting at least some points. Uh, I'll probably put ten or eleven points in Restro just to kind of help out with that and help with healing so I can heal myself regularly and everything. Um, I have started a shaman. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes, I've started a shaman. <laughs> That's obvious. It's right here. I have started a paladin. I had a paladin set up a long time ago on my character and I just haven't leveled her and uh, she's still not quite level 10 yet. And uh, I'm going to play her. I don't believe I'm going to do a special on her uh, for, for this because I think paladins have pretty been well covered around the community if anyone watches Hobbs of course and other things and uh, you know paladins are great tanks as everybody knows as well as great healers single target healers so I'm not going to cover them too much uh, it's the main reason I want to play them and go over them is because I haven't played a paladin since uh, classic WoW since WoW first came out and uh, it's changed so much, and uh, there's just so much more to do on it. And uh, so I'm gonna give that a try. Have a tanking paladin, and 
and do that. I, I'm not going to do another healer because I already have two, of course. I have my Restro Druid, and then I have my Holy Priest, who's uh, level 20, 21. And uh, so I, I really don't feel the need for another healer. I think two is more than enough in the healing department. Um, uh, but I have a ver variety of different uh, DPS tanks and uh, everything in between, pretty much. So, and the shaman's a nice addition to that tree. Uh, as to where she exactly falls under, I'm not sure. I. <sighs> I want to say DPS, but I'm not entirely sure that's true with the enhancement. Uh, I know Elemental is supposed to be more DPS than anything, uh, but as for as for enhancement, I'm not sure. Well, that's all for part uh, part or part four. We'll see in part five.